so we have to be really realistic about what we say all the time. We cannot say they didn't win at home because they didn't play at home. But the last match, example, when they played in Lampung against Pesabaya, they lost at home. So of course that is something that we have to recognize and that one we, we know. And we saw also how they played as a team in that match, but tomorrow is a different match and we have to be prepared for a different team tomorrow. We still have Fred's also not here. Fred is called by the army, and then we have Zola who is called by the police. So it's not only those three that are not playing; it is also the others. We have we're missing five people tomorrow in the, in the match, and that is also to do with the depth in the team. Uh, of course, we still know that it's not easy to replace Esa Chil as a as a player up front. He is still needed in the team as a as a strong player, as a player that can score the goals like he did in the last match. Well, um, Harione is a defending player, but in the midfield, like I've said many times, we have so many players in Persep, we can overcome that. Uh, on the wing, of course, Fabri will be a loss as well, because Fabri has shown his qualities. He is also one of the guys that produce goals for us. So we must really know how to replace these players. No, Beckham is tired after the national team, you can see it on the trainings. But Beckham is a talent and Beckham has to learn how to switch from national team to club duties. Unfortunately, he will go to the national team again, I was told. So that is why we can't build really on young talents in the, in the teams, because they are called by the PSSI at any time during the league. This is another one of those things that I've already discussed many times. For Beckham's development, it is of course good if he can start playing regularly with Persip. Always always optimist and if the team plays like we played against Borneo and in big 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 parts of the match against Makassar the team has enough quality to get good results as well but we need to avoid making mistakes and once again we need fair referees Persiapan sampai saat ini bagus sekali. E, insya Allah kita sepakat semua untuk e, meraih hasil yang terbaik besok. E, diharapkan semua pemain untuk menjalankan apa yang diinstruksikan. Mudah-mudahan hasil besok bersahabat dengan kita. Insya Allah. Ya e, hasil bukan jadi jaminan bahwa kita memandang mereka tim yang lemah tidak boleh terlarang untuk kita itu karena ketika mereka berhadapan dengan Persib namanya Persib masih pemain e, tim pasukan berlipat ganda motivasi mereka dan saya berharap kita lebih dari mereka besok harus lebih